So we're after the winching kit. I've already taken the wire out and put in this pull line instead. The pull line's much better to use than the wire because there's some stretch in it and you'll find it'll help even out the pull of the winch. Well, loosen off this top nut here and unscrew that. That's the other end then, there, you can actually pop that out. There. Just slides down there. Now you can see just where I've put three additional holes here. And I've just done that sort of quite crudely with a drill, just sort of working backwards and forwards a few times. So this now just slips back over that, this long bolt here. So you can see that's how you fix the main winch there. And now this rail can slide back across and into, into, its, into all these places where I've loosened it. And now you can see, you can see that part there protruding. That will then slot into one of those little holes we've made. And we can then, again, it's a bit of a two-handed job, but it's now to slide the whole of that bar That goes back to there. So now we can tighten all those down. Now where I've positioned the winch there, now I've stood that back, it's actually closer to this end. But you can always put in a few other little spaces in this rail here, so then you can just slide the winch to what position you want to try. So that's probably what I'll do in a second. So at least if I do want to slide it back up that way, I can do that. The mill's pretty much ready to use, uh, just need to put the uprights back in. But, uh, a nice big uh, tool type grab carabiner on the end of this. So we've got that on there now. I tend to sort of put it just around that end section there. And then you can just tight, tighten that up there so that's on there like that. 